Hey you, lawn mentor guy. Oh my goodness, not this idiot again. Are you sick and tired of that grass? Oh, I hate these stupid commercials. <coughs> Yes, you. Are you sick and tired of that grass? How are you on every single TV in my house? Will you just let me get the pitch out there? It's in the contract. I have to do this before this ends. Dude, seriously, what is the deal? <clears throat> yes, you. Are you sick and tired of that grass that grows up in between your chain link fence and is never able to be cut with your lawnmower? You're even wearing the same shirt as me. Well, then have I got a solution for you. Yeah, okay. Sure, whatever. And I'm supposed to go, oh yeah, that's me, I'm the perfect customer. Yeah, sell me this, uh, even though we could probably all use this. Okay, whatever, dude, here's the deal. Take your stupid trimmer, and instead of going right at the chain link fence, ride the fence with the head of it, and cut vertically. All right, well, can you hurry this up? I really came in here just to watch Ryan Nor. Uh, wait a second, there's usually a uh, skip ads, but why can't I skip the ones I hate the most? Leave some clean lines against the fence, and you won't have to worry about all those stragglers coming through the fence. Okay, finally, an infomercial that gets straight to the point. But wait, there's more. No, I don't have time for more. For only three easy payments of no Oh, let me guess, $19.99 with shipping and handling, three easy payments. Why don't you just go make your own video and do this for free and I won't even have a job anymore. How about that? Well, I'm, I'm kind of doing that right now. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, I'm going to take this and put it up on my YouTube and let everybody laugh at you. Well, then I guess this joke is just over now, isn't it? Yeah, this is getting kind of old, so let's not do this anymore unless a bunch of people subscribe and ask for it in the comments. But anyways, let me show you guys what this guy's talking about. Man, that dude from the infomercials is just creepy. I feel like he lives with me or something. I mean, I had to change my shirt just to get out of that funk. So the tip I want to share with you guys today is really about how to uh, take care of the grass that grows in your chain link fence. I've seen some people online say that you can kill that and you can spray something like glyphosate on that grass in between the fence but then you run the risk of spraying your neighbor's lawn or your own lawn for the grass you want to keep. Every time you try to go up against a chain link fence, your trimmer is, you know, bucking or something like that, getting caught in the fence, or you're wasting string trimmer line because your string trimmer line is getting chopped off by the fence. So I deal with this on a regular basis, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who do too. I've started experimenting around with different ways to try to cut this grass off. And uh, well, let me just show you guys. Right here's a good example of this. I have this chain link fence here and uh, this grass kind of just grows over and I actually cut this section with a riding lawn mower and I, no matter how close I get the deck to the fence, I still have this grass here. Usually people will take their weed whacker and just go straight at the uh, fence here to try to cut this, but the string on your weed whacker will uh, actually, you know, get cut off and frayed by the fence and so you end up wasting a bunch of string. But I'm finding if you go like this uh, uh, with your the head of your string trimmer, if you ride along the chain link, you actually are able to cut this all off still and uh, not run into that problem. So instead I'll take this and I'll ride along the fence line here to actually cut this grass. If you have any stragglers, you can just clean them up right here. So then you have like very little to deal with that comes through the fence here and you save your string trimmer line and you do get kind of like an etching to the uh, edges of your yard too, which if you don't like that, just don't go as deep into the grass. But um, I think it looks nice to kind of frame your yard. So let's go ahead and take care of some other areas like this and see how it goes.
So hey, that's what I got for you guys today. Just a new way to uh, use this versatile tool. There's really a lot of different things that you can do with the string trimmer. So experiment with angles and holding at different positions and everything like that. And you might find something like this that really helps you in your situation to uh, get in some tight spaces. Maybe you can't hit with your mower. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.